So apparently NHL 15 doesn't have a fantasy draft mode. I know the one on NHL, or sorry, on Xbox 360, not NHL 360. The Xbox 360 one definitely did have it, but yeah, the Xbox one, I remember it was sort of like a game that didn't really have a lot of features because they kind of threw it together, if I'm going to be honest, for next gen. And there you have it. Thank you very much for playing. You're welcome. I have no idea if this draft is going to be tough or not. I kind of want to say no, but I was really surprised by how many retired players there was on NHL 16. That's what we did, right, last? Yeah. I just remembered now, I saw a comment that had a really good idea to just randomize the team and play now. So that's what I'm going to do. Randomize the team and we get the... Montreal Canadiens. This menu looks a lot more familiar. I'm going to turn owner mode off, obviously. Fantasy draft will be on. Salary cap, we'll leave that on. Waivers, yeah, I'll leave those on. Assistant coach edit lines, don't even think about it. Jabroni, get your morale meetings out of my face. I don't care how you're feeling. It's time to start the career. I'll say we get pick number 10. I doubt that's going to be correct, but it's always worth a guess, just in case. This is taking longer than I feel like it should. Here we go. Pick 15. We are right in the middle. So it turns out I had a digital copy of NHL 17, which is why I couldn't find it. And it also wasn't under my games and apps. I don't know why it wasn't there, but it wasn't. So I had to do a little bit of digging and find out that it was under some groups section or something. Jamie Ben going, what is that? A pick five. He went fifth overall. You know what? Bit of a weird one to start us off. Let's go with Roman Yossi. Who do we have available for goaltenders? Maybe we'll never find find out. There we go. Henrik Lundqvist. We cannot take him. Corey Schneider at 91 overall. Pekka Rene, 91. Tuka Rask. I'm curious to see who the high elites are here. We got Morgan Riley to Foley, Barry, and Ristolainen and all marked as high elite. I'm not gonna lie, this is already harder than I thought it was gonna be. I'm trying to decide who I want to go with next, and I think it's gonna be John Klingberg. I guess we're going for a defense first kind of team, you know? Wayne Simmons, 88 overall. He is going to be the next selection. Or nah? Yeah, yes he is. I don't want to take Joe Thornton because he is technically a free agent right now, but he is not really fully decided if he's retired or not. That medium elite is pretty nice, and so is $3 million. So Martin Jones, I think you just found yourself a new team. Vasilevsky down here at low elite, 85 overall. Let's go with Stull to be our first line center at 87 overall. Not bad, although the overalls are incredibly inflated in this game as well, it seems. I don't think there's any way Ryan Murray's retiring. He is a free agent right now, but... I I will make another defensive selection. Really going defensive heavy. 86 overall, left wing, medium top six potential. Evander Kane will be the next selection for the Montreal Canadiens. Let's go with Riley Smith as our next pick. It was a big debate between him and Everly, but the 1 million makes all the difference. I probably will still take Everly if he's there though. Kyle Connor, 80 overall, low elite. We have Dubois, 69 overall, low elite. I chose the wrong time to do this sort of draft because there's a lot of players that who knows if they might retire or not. I'm going to take Carl Hagelin though. He is still under contract. Left winger, we could use one of those. We also need another centerman. So I'm going to take Tyler Flozak to fill that spot. Jerome McGinley still 84 overall in this game. Okay, this draft is actually way harder than I thought it was going to be. I did not expect this. Melker Carlson, 84 overall? What a legend. Well, I know who our next draft selection is, and he's been in the Swedish Hockey League for the last two years, so never mind. We don't get him after all. Alex Kalorn is definitely still there. So I will draft him as a for sure. Andrew Cogliano is available. So let's take our final left winger. What position was Melker Carlson? He was a centerman, right? So I got to find another center. This guy just wins Stanley Cups. He does. So let's take 83 overall, Patty Maroon. Jordy Ben's technically under contract with the Maple Leafs, so that is a player I will be taking as another defenseman. I should look at the handedness of our current defenseman, though, to see what I need. High backup, 78 overall, Philip Grubauer. I will be selecting you to be our backup goalie, coincidentally. Nick Paul, no way. That's interesting. We could use a right winger, so Trevor Lewis will be the next selection for your Montreal Canadiens. Joffrey Lupel, what a throwback. Marion Gabrick, Zach Cassian. We're really adding some grit to our team with these last couple of picks. Let's go with Bortuzzo. I have not looked at the handedness yet, so I'm kind of just hail marrying that one, but I should definitely look now. So right now we have five defensemen. Roman Yossi is left-handed, but we have Klingberg, who's right-handed, left-handed Ryan Murray, Jordy Ben, and Bortuzzo's right. So we need one more right-handed defenseman, and we are golden. Chris Weidman is right-handed. And he's also 80 overall. That will be our final defenseman. And then we just need, how many forwards do we actually need? What round are we on? I've lost track entirely, but I know that we took Melker Carlson and that was not allowed. So we need one more player. And I feel like we're going to have to have a winger playing centerman, but that's all right. Yeah, that's unfortunate. 
Oh well, it is what it is. With our final selection of the draft, we're gonna go with Belmar, and then we need to go put these lines together. I feel like I shouldn't trade Carlson. I don't want to give them to anyone else, all right? This isn't handouts time. I'll just send him to the AHL. There's Dubois, low elite. He went in round number 22 to the Detroit Red Wings. I think they took Mackenzie Blackwood at 646 right after I stopped. Whoa, this looks weird. I was not ready for that. Edit lines. Can I do roster moves from here? I think you can. That's been there forever, right? You just have to go to no, press Y, and roster moves. There we have it. All right, I'm sorry, Melker, but you got to get sent down. It's just the way she goes. Do I even have to call anyone up? I could probably just send them down, right? Yeah, there we go. We're fine. I like that it shows the overalls right there. So we have 90 offense, 91 defense, 88 in the cage. I think the team's going to be all right. So our first line gives us E. Kane. With Stahl and Simmons. Love that first line. Then we got Smith, Bozak, and Hagelin. Kaloran, Belmar, Cogliano, Cassian, Lewis, and Maroon. I don't know what it is, but I really like this team. We have like a good amount of talent and grit. I think we're going to be a real competitor here. Defensively, we got Yossi, Klingberg, Ben, Murray, Weidman, and Bortuzzo. Hopefully none of these players are retired. I tried looking them up to see if they were still under contracts, and they were. So we should be okay. But let's go to the goaltenders and see who we have there. Marty Jones and Grubauer at 78 overall. Did I check Jones? Oh no, he has to still be playing, right? He's apparently with the Seattle Kraken. What a coincidence. The St. John's Ice Caps. What happened to Laval? So my prediction is that Wayne Simmons is gonna get the most points with 71. No, 70. He's getting 70 flat. And then I'll say that we get 46 wins and we make it into the playoffs. Not that it matters at all, but the preseason's going pretty good. I'm actually pretty hyped to see what the stats look like at the end of the year. Just the overall league stats to see how everyone did. I must say, though, this sim is moving a lot slower than I thought it would. I feel like even the NHL 16 one was faster than this. Spencer Smallman gaining some morale there. Love that for you. As we slowly chug our way through the season, we had a rough start, a little bit rocky, but we seem to have pulled it back and managed to climb to a pretty decent record. 9, 5, and 3 isn't bad. I turned off morale meetings, but I guess that doesn't turn off morale because we are still getting a lot of notifications regarding that. I wonder if I turn that off. Can you turn it off in this game? That's the question. But if you can, wonder if that makes the sim go by faster. I'm going to try to find out. I also want to make sure that our lines aren't being edited without my knowledge. I don't think they are because I did turn off the edit lines. You guys watched me do it. Yeah, it looks like they haven't been touched. All right, we are good in that aspect. You can turn off morale meetings but you can't turn off morale it doesn't look like i just have a feeling that bozak or someone on this team is going to retire within the next week before this video comes out and everyone's just gonna jump right at it or maybe someone has retired because i have not been paying attention to any news really when we were drafting i saw dustin brown and getzlav and i know that they're retired so i didn't go towards them obviously because this is the currently active draft it is Mackenzie Blackwood. Holy crap, he looked really young there. The scouting assignment keeps coming up saying like, hey, I've done that scouting assignment you wanted me to do. Let's be honest here, buddy. I didn't want you to do anything. I'm hitting okay. Nice little four game losing streak. Might as well make it five. Let's do six, you know? No? Yup, sure will. We're at seven. Can we hit eight? That would be very, oh, we can. We might even hit double digits at this point. Arizona, give us a double digits. Well... We'll count it. Spencer Smallman, that guy's just loving life. His morale just keeps going up. I don't think there's any kind of trade deadline mini game in this. I believe it's just the last day to make trades, and if you sim past it, you can't. 6-4 loss to the Rangers, who are killing it, by the way. Yeah, we're not doing so hot. Doesn't look like there's any sort of thing, so I'm just gonna sim right to the end of the season. Please remind me to never make another video on NHL 17. This sim time is horrendous. Martin Jones, our starting goaltender, gained morale for ice time. Makes sense. That definitely checks out. My wins prediction? Certainly not happening. Playoffs? Also not happening. Our division would have to be so pathetic for us to even have a shot. No. Oh wait, there's a whole nother week? Wasn't ready for that. Can we at least win two of these games so that we don't have a record where we have more regulation losses than wins? Oh no, we're not gonna do it, are we? Tampa Bay, give us a dub, maybe? There we go, Detroit, give us a dub as well. Oh, well, I thought our team was going to be sick, but holy crap, was I wrong. I'm just going to send the playoffs now and then we'll go look at the stats afterwards. So I'll see you guys in about an hour. We're almost there. Come on. Oh, that ended way faster than I thought it would. The Florida Panthers go on to win the Stanley Cup. Okay, let's go look at some stats. I'm also curious. What are your guys' opinions on NHL 17? Do you guys remember this being a good game? Do you 
like it or not really. We finished seventh in the Atlantic Division with 80 points, 36 wins, not a good year. The Florida Panthers got 102 and so did the Buffalo Sabres. The Mighty Ducks of Anaheim do take home the President's Trophy though with 109 and they also had 52 wins on the year. Evander Kane had the most points with 57. Yeah, that sounds about right. We just did not do well. Klingberg had 57 as well. This guy's carrying the team back there. Roman Yossi put up 54. Same with Wayne Simmons. You know there's a problem when three of, or two, sorry, of your top three point getters of your top point. What? You know there's a problem when two of your top three have the most points defensively. I, I don't even know how to word it. I'm trying to think of how to say it and it's just not coming to me. I'm literally still blanking. There's a problem when you have two defensemen in your top three point getters. This is literally making my brain twitch. Like I'm getting upset. When you look at the top point scorers for your team and of the top three, two of them are defensemen, then you know you have a problem. There we go. I'll allow that. I'm sure there's a much easier way to say that. And I don't know if it's because I've been working and my brain is just not all there right now. Martin Jones had a 251 GAA and his save percentage was 918. So that's pretty good. Luongo led the league with 46 wins for the Calgary Flames. He had a 922 save percentage. We got a 927 from Jonathan Quick. Carlson led defenseman with 84 points. Wow, he was almost 20 points up on the next person, which was Shea Weber. PK Subban put up 62. Brent Burns put up 57. Same with Klingberg and Doughty. Stan Samkos wins the Art Ross at 96 overall. He gets 103 points. He was almost 10 points up on the next person, who is John Tavares at 94. Then we had Tarasenko getting 92. Line A puts up 88 at 86 overall, and he's only 19. What a legend. Stepan puts up 86. Stanley Cup goes to Florida President's Trophy Anaheim, and Anaheim coincidentally made it to the finals to face off against the Florida Panthers, but yeah, the Panthers took it home. Dart Ross goes to Steven Stamkos. The heart also goes to Steven. Eric Carlson gets the Norris. Lady Bing goes to Stepan. The Calder goes to Line A. No surprise there. Con Smythe goes to Braden Holpe. The Vesna goes to Jonathan Quick. Freddie Anderson gets the Jennings. The Bill Masterton goes to Eckholm. Selkie goes to Patrice Bergeron. Stamkos takes home the Ted Lindsay and also the Rocket Richard. Okay, I gotta get out of here because my brain is not working and it's really starting to make me mad. I just cannot say what I'm thinking whatsoever. So, hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was a rather interesting draft. I can't believe there's that many players that are retired that were so good in NHL 17. But thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.